Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today, on this very special extended edition of In 5 Minutes or Less, I'm going to show you the integration between Big IP Application Security Manager version 11.2 and the Sensic Web Application Security Scanner. You're probably aware that 70 to 80% of the web applications out there on the internet are vulnerable. Certainly many organizations have a web application firewall like Big IP ASM to protect against the vulnerabilities. And often organizations may also have a vulnerability scanner like the Sensic Hailstorm. But they may be two separate solutions you would find, so the Sensic Hailstorm would scan your web application and find the vulnerabilities, but you still need to build a policy to protect against them. And then, of course, the web application firewall has the policy to protect against vulnerabilities, but often you need to know how and, and what you need to protect against. And so this dynamic app security testing, the integration between Big IP, ASM, and Sensic, offers complete website protection. It gives you vulnerability checking, detection, and remediation. And so basically, Sensic will find the vulnerabilities, and with a single click, you can create, either automatically or manually, a policy on Big IP ASM to then remediate and protect against those vulnerabilities. So let's start the clock. I've logged on to a Big IP ASM, and the first place you want to go is Application Security and Security Policies. And then you'd click on your policy, click right on it. And then you would click on Reconfigure, the third tab over there, click OK. And then that'll bring you to the Run Deployment Wizard screen. So you would click on that, and then click on Create a Policy Using a Third-Party Vulnerability Assessment Cloud. Next. It's pretty easy. And then you select your language. I'm going to choose Unicode. And then I'm going to uncheck the uh, case sensitivity for security policy. Next. And then you choose your vulnerability tool, Sensic. And then once you click Next, then click Finish. And now the policy is in the process of being created. And now we get to the screen, which allows you to connect to the Sensic cloud. It's a SaaS offering for this, and you would put in, obviously, your own uh, username and password. I'm putting in this one right now. Once you get it in, click Submit. Actually, got to click Agree. Oops. And now, we're successfully connected to the Sensic Cloud. Now, and this cloud has uh, already has the application URL here in the drop down and so all you got to do is click request scan and so now the scan is requested and it's running and you basically got to wait until the scan is complete it could take anywhere from you know 10 minutes to a half hour depending upon your web application and so now we're finished, and so when the scan is finished, you'll see this pop up, and you just click OK to proceed. And so this screen shows you the list of vulnerabilities that the Sensic Hailstorm had found. And you can also see that some of them are resolvable by ASM, and some of them may not be. And so you want to sort the vulnerabilities with those that are resolvable. And so now let's first click on the cross-site scripting ones that it found. And so you can see it found a number of cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. And so very easily you can just click either individually or that top one to select all and click resolve. And so now it's in the process of resolving those. And, oh, there we go, resolving vulnerabilities. It'll take a few seconds. 
And so now you'll see on the Big IP ASM, under ASM status, it says mitigated. And so let's also click on the SQL error messages, and we're going to select them all. Click Resolve, and Resolve. Yes, of course I want to resolve these. And once they're resolved, obviously click co Close. And now you can see the policy has been configured to protect against the vulnerabilities that the Sensic Hailstorm has found. And so to retest, go to Policies, and then Policy, and then we'll put it in um, Enforcement Mode, in the Blocking Mode. We're going to go Advanced on this, because I want to go down and I want to click the uh, Trusty XFS X F F header. And so that also allows you to see the GOIP headers. And we'll click Save on this. And then we go back up to first we're going to apply the policy so that the policy now gets in place versus being in staging into production. So we're going to apply it to that web application. So the new policy has been applied. We want to go to Vulnerability Assessments and Import Vulnerabilities to retest to see if any if those vulnerabilities have been mitigated. And so once again, we'll click Request Scan. And again, you'll have to uh, wait a little while. And right here, the scan. Wait a little while. Not that long this time. Now that the rescan is finished, you'll see that pop up again. Click OK. And then this time you can go to Report and Requests after the scan is done. And then here are the list, or here is the list, of all of the vulnerabilities that, that the ASM slash Sensic has blocked. You can see all the signature IDs, the details of the violation. And then you can also go down and see the source IP address. And that comes from the US. That IP address is actually the, the Sensic. And there you have it. The Big IP Application Security Manager or I should say the integration between Big IP Application Security Manager version 11.2 and the Sensic Web Application Security Scanner in five minutes. Oh, actually today, five, six minutes or less. So thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Visit us online at www.f5.com and follow us on Twitter at F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.